Hey, what's going on guys? Joseph Mills here for Autometer Garage, back at our home location, Il Garage in Addison, Illinois with Project Evo. Uh, had a great uh, little run over the weekend out at the Grid Life event, and it occurred to us, this is absolute lunacy. We're driving this Evo around all hopped up, and, and we didn't have a wideband on it. So uh, today we remedy that with, right there, that's the Autometer. Pro Plus Wideband, newest, latest, and greatest creation using the venerable LSU 4.9 sensor. It's configurable for nearly any fuel type. Some really cool features on there. Autometer's Pro Control input and output allows the wideband gauge to interface with other devices on your vehicle at predetermined warning points. There is a warning function built into it that interfaces with a wide open throttle switch, uh, a photo sensor for automatic dimming of the display so you're not uh, scorching the eyeballs at night, uh, zero to five volt analog output as well as a serial output for easy integration into engine management systems, dynos, so on and so forth. Um, so if you remember back in episode one of Project Evo, We've already done one gauge install, uh, so we're not going to touch on the power and ground and all that stuff uh, as deeply, but you can check out episode one right there if you want a little bit more detail on how we run the wires through the firewall and all that stuff. Uh, so with that said, we're going to head back into the shop. We got the exhaust cooled off on the Evo, and we're going to start putting this gauge in. Okay, to start off, uh, we're gonna pull the carpeting back from the passenger side of the vehicle. This is gonna give us a good spot to run our wiring down for our sensor. Uh, once the carpeting comes off, there's this little styrofoam piece, a little bit of adhesive on the back, just pry real slowly and it comes right out. Uh, with that peeled back, uh, you'll see the spot where the factory O2 sensor goes in. We're just gonna enlarge that grommet a little bit and drop ours in. So as you can see, we pull the panel off the side of the center console there, and we're able to fish our sensor wire across. It's helpful to have a buddy on the other side. You will be able to uh, feed it over to them, uh, but just a little bit easier if you've got an extra set of hands on the other side of that center console. So our wiring's cleaned up up top. Uh, if you remember from episode one, uh, we pulled power and ground uh, from the little power distribution area right down and to the left where the steering wheel's at. Little cover pops off. It's in more detail in the first video. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install our Bosch 4.9 sensor into the extra bung on our Cobb downpipe. Uh, so nice little tip here. Because this is already connected, we are gonna wanna twist this O2 sensor in the opposite direction a few times before we install it. That's going to keep the wiring nice when it goes in and twists around the other way. Well, once we've got that installed, we want to be aware of where this wiring goes when the vehicle's moving around. So we're going to go ahead and zip tie this right to this hard line uh, on top of the cross member there. That's going to keep the wiring safe and out of harm's way uh, under any driving conditions. Uh, so with that said, we torque this down into, uh, into the pipe and we'll start her up and see how it works. So we've got her plugged in, started up, everything's working. Uh, again, we're gonna use the Autometer Omnipod for mounting, little double-sided stick tape here. Not a ton of room on these Evos. I'd love to be able to put this totally even with the other gauge, but would block off too much of the tack, so. Got it right here so it sits in the one dead space in the tack. And you can see, quite responsive uh, with that new 4.9 sensor. Uh, so really cool stuff. Autometer Pro Plus wideband up on Project Evo. Um, who knows what we're gonna do next. Thanks for watching. See you next time.